I'm just kidding. That never gets old. Welcome to episode two of the Late, 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 Late Show with Walker Hayes. I'm Walker Hayes, your host, and I'm glad to be here tonight. Hope you are as well, wherever you might be watching and whenever you might be watching. I just got home from football practice. Uh, I am a first time football coach. Don't know a lot about football, but since I was home because of COVID, we ain't doing any shows. I got the opportunity to coach my son Baylor's football team. It's uh, 11 and 12 year olds. It's freaking awesome. Um, honestly, I kind of get made fun of by the other coaches by how happy I am to show up um, at practice. I'm having the time of my life. I may never go back on the road again. I might just look for a full time coaching job. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, I am enjoying myself. On a serious note, it really is a delight uh, to be home. Last year, I didn't see one of Baylor's uh, football games, and now I get to be on the sideline coaching. Um, so yeah, having a good time with that. We got some good bits uh, for you, some entertaining stuff. Great interview uh, for you that I know you're going to like. I love you guys. Thanks for joining us on the Late, Late, Late Show. Late, 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 Late Show with Walker Hayes. I'm going to figure out how to say it soon. Don't you love these cups? Thanks for being here. Are we ready? What's up, y'all? Walker here in my own crib with, with my man, Rob. I didn't, I didn't know what to call it. Like My manager, Rob. Also, my um, opponent in this uh, game called Name That Tune. That's that minus tune? points. You're going to be terrible at this game. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Don't stop freaking believing without the freaking. Don't stop believing. Did you, were you even, did you even think at all? I think you should take his glasses off. Why? <laughs> Can't see. Okay, yeah. Alright, here we go. Now I'm ready. Alright, ready? I'm that bitch. Oh, I'm so sorry. I savage. Is that savage? Yeah. Did you know? Were you just scared? I don't remember titles, man. Are you here? Old Town Road. That was so fast. He gave me that I'd one. I'd let him have he it. He gave me. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Oh, that's Don't your tell fate. my heart, my achy brecky heart. That was so fast. So fast, so fast. Let's play. Let's just keep playing. Oh. You know it now? Hey, Panini. I can't say it. I mean, I'm not going to give it to him. Ready? Yeah. Your kids don't watch Frozen yet, do they? Nope. Let it go. <laughs> Dude, I would know. Like, we you go together. Sucker. I'm just saying, guys, he is getting them very fast. <laughs> Tupac changes. I do my head. Lizzo. Taylor Swift and that's it. Mean. Don't take the girl. It was, wasn't it? It was! It was! It was! Samuel Barber, a dodge up for strings. High tights, baby. Yes. What? It's even blind. Yes. <laughs> this is Taylor, but I don't know. Oh. Seven rings. He got one! Which one do you want? If you just want to tell me one, I'll put that in. <laughs> You're like, everybody, this is Leela, my oldest daughter, Leela Finley Hayes, named after the great explorer of Spain in the 19, nah, just kidding. Lizzo something, uh, I don't know the name of that one. She's not going to know that. Yeah, I knew it was something weird. Party in the USA. I'll be a sub buzz at first. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to take it back. <laughs> you can have it. Thank you. Party. What was it? Party in the USA. By who? Miley Cyrus. Okay. Oh. You're about to cheat. Meant to be. Oh, Florida, Georgia. Dang. Oh. That was legit. That was legit. Great. That hurt. Great. Always on my mind. I know the time. Let's I know. Together. I know it's Austin Together and Allie. Um, not a love song. Ah! I've been defeated. 
So what's up, y'all? On tonight's episode <laughs> of Melody Mashup, I'm going to be drawing a lyric, melody. melody, from here, and a lyric from here, and I'm supposed to sing the lyric to this melody. I got five seconds to do it. Wheels on the bus, and Old Town Road. Yeah, I'm going to take... Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse down the old town road, old town road, old town road. Gonna take my, I mean, I don't remember the rest of the words, but that, I succeeded, right? Okay, here we go, let's do it again. Ready? Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posy. What a great, no, I'm not gonna do that one, I don't know that song. Okay, in my feelings, Kiki, do you love me to ring around? Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding with me? Say you'll never leave me. I, I don't know the rest. Right? I did it right. My brain's hurting from trying to do this. <laughs> she thinks it's funny. Let's do uh, row, row, row your boat to uh, beer never broke my long neck, ice cold. Long neck, ice cold beer never broke my heart. Na 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 na. Luke Combs is so smart. Y'all want one more? Yeah! Yeah, you do. Bye bye, black sheep. To the middle. So pull me closer. Why don't you pull me close? Why don't you come on over? I can't just let you go. You know what? I will say I'm cheating because if you can read them, it's easier. But I still won. What's up, y'all? This is an episode of Shids. My kids say actually shiz, not shids. I just wanted to rhyme it with kids. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm going to tell you some funny stuff that my kids say because they say funny stuff all the time. It's embarrassing at times. I got my boy Bay here to help um, tell a story because Lolly wouldn't tell it. She was kind of sad. We just moved in this neighborhood uh, not very long ago and, um, you know, trying to make good first impressions with all the neighbors. And there's a little girl um, next door, and she... Like seven years old. <laughs> she's seven, yeah. yeah. We'll just call her B. Lolly was outside in our backyard. We hadn't met these neighbors yet, and she was creeping up on a bird. She was obsessed. She wanted to catch a bird so bad. <laughs> she was creeping up on this bird, and then this neighbor that we didn't know, cutest little kid, what does she do? So, <laughs> B ran up to the bird and chased it away, and Loxley yelled to her. She went... She just went, so this is the first time they've ever met, she just went, get out of the way, girl! And uh, I was like, yeah, it's my daughter right there making friends. First impression. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure she got that from mom. That's how mom meets people. Um, I'm trying to think, Lane, you got any more? I want you to tweet me. Let me know some crazy kids stuff that your kids say that's funny or embarrassing. Um, I'm trying to think, Lane, you got any more? Oh. oh, this is funny. Chad was probably like two, and uh, we were just watching football one day, and he saw um, he saw that the commercial was like one of those Viagra commercials, and none of you know it's white noise to us because um, I don't need Viagra yet. <laughs> so anyway, do you need Viagra? No. You don't need Viagra anyway. So Chapel was watching. I get we didn't know he was watching, you know, two year olds. They just kind of you just see their heads every now and then wandering. But later that day, I, heard, I walked in the garage and he was just all by himself playing something in the garage, but he was just going, Sex drive, sex drive, <laughs> and just saying that over and over. And they're like, Hey, you know, you probably don't want to say that in the wrong company. Just keep that one to yourself. It was awesome, chap. I love that. I'll never forget that. You remember the makeup one? I don't remember it. So we're sitting in the drive-thru. I don't know why we were even, we were talking about makeup. And, um, oh, so Leela, my oldest daughter, was about 10 years old. And we were, I think we were in the Starbucks drive-thru. And we were just having fun, talking, and she was doing what she does best, which is like beg to do stuff. That's <laughs> like, that, I, that she's not allowed to do until she gets older. So we're in the drive-thru, we're talking about makeup, and I'm like, you can't wear makeup yet for this reason, blah, blah. I don't even remember what the reason was. I think I just didn't want her to grow up for a minute. Even you said no, I was like, but dad, you wear makeup. Yeah, I, at some point in when we were, when we were talking and the drive-through with the dude 
with his window open. I was like, you just can't, okay, you just can't wear makeup. All right, that's final. And Leela was like, well, you wear makeup. And, um, and I'm embarrassed to say that I do. When we do stuff on film, like people put makeup on me all the time, but the dude in the window didn't know that it was that exclusive. He just, I think he just thought, hey, dad wears makeup all the time. Which, hey, if you like to wear makeup, wear makeup. You look beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, it at the end because most sessions last at least two hours, right. and so and I can get it, it can get intense, and that's where yeah. a lot of people don't do this work. There are people that are trained in it, but they just can't keep that intensity up. It's too much, right. and I get that uh, after years. I've, with trained in 2013, so I've been doing it for a while now. Right. Um, I get the intensity. I've learned to how to 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 not. I've done that. What you're saying, just overwhelmed, and it was just right. really really intense. Uh, I've learned to to pace myself a little bit, and so and everybody's different because some people are really intense people anyway, and so everything right. is just like, it's like, you know, they're 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 some people are really in that lifetime and they're experiencing trauma and then there are people right. that are in a lifetime and they're experiencing an amazing life and they're just everything is going their way and their husband's amazing or their wife's amazing you know they're just they have this huge plantation right. and you just never know where you're going to go so i've gotten prepared to it's like dumping into a rabbit hole and here we go let's see what, what's going to happen yeah. are there exercises you send people away with that are like what you do in a session or do you recommend yeah. Hey, just come back and see me or, you know, before the first, the, our first session, I give you a meditation. It's a guided meditation right. and it helps in, and it's, it's twofold. It's one, you may go, you may be naturally easy to go back and see th something. Right. It's also your subconscious is getting used to my process. So okay. it's like we're practicing riding that bike before we get on that bike. And gotcha. so if you left and you had other questions, I always tell people, one, you can just text me. I'm the, I'm the queen of texting. So text me and let me know what you have, okay. if you have any questions or use your, you know, use your resources as my niece to say, and you can use that meditation and, and go see if you can go back and get other answers. Cause I, right. it's, you know, you can use it anytime. And it. But it's just really, I've learned after years that people really need a couple practice sessions before it's, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, because I'm sure people probably get a long way and then they might get home and be like, uh, how did I, like, how did I feel that way? You know, that minute. So that's well, good that and, you can. And I record it too, just so you know. Oh, and good. so I send you a copy of the recording. You get a yeah. copy because you do get home and you're like, what did I say? You know, <laughs> things like that. Yeah. My, my, sometimes my, when my wife, figure something out about me like when she's like oh childhood now kabloom this you know it makes me mad and i don't know oh. why but i'm curious does do you ever have like a client where you hit something on the nerve like you discover something they they didn't want to yeah. discover well what's fun about what i do is i take them back and they see so i'm not telling them anything gotcha. so if, you, if i regressed you and you saw in a past life you had an addiction issue right it would not be like well i can't believe she just showed me that you're seeing right. it is there anything um this is for you this section uh you know for everybody who watches is there a way they can get in touch with you or ask you a question yeah. or is there anything you want to plug? Yeah, this is what I wanted to, to talk about because I have um, a couple of packages. One's a transformation yeah. package and then uh, a past life regression package and also that BWRT package. It's usually, it's three, but I was um, going to say if they reference a show, if they say, hey, I saw you on the Walker Hayes Whoa. podcast. Uh -huh. They get a hundred dollars off one of the packages. I thought that would be. That's so kind of you. That's awesome. Go ahead. I didn't tell you my website though. I was going to tell oh, you. Oh yeah, yeah, website. yeah. So don't, don't, don't not say that. Go I want to plug it. that. Uh, it's musiccityhealing.com. Okay, Music so. City Healing, and you are you're local. Where do you yep, live? I'm in Franklin. Okay, you're right down the corner. We're in Thompson Station. Oh, okay. Oh, so, very yeah. cool. This, this is the truth, no lie. I could talk to you for an hour a day. Uh, I feel like oh, thank you. I feel like I'm a better person just asking you about you and what you do. And I will say, I'm jealous of your client. Your clients are lucky people to have you, and um, you. just somebody who cares as much as I can just tell you do about your, um, you know, your craft, your gift, and uh, 
Thank you for being you. Thanks for joining us. I have told everybody. I'm excited for this. Thank you for the opportunity. That's really, awesome. it's amazing. Let's do it again sometime, all right? I would love to. Have a great rest yes, of your sir. day, and we'll let you know when we put this up. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. Right. See you, Leslie.